I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and today I want to talk about how to export your data from RDM. There are a couple reasons you might be interested in this feature. For example, if you want to migrate to Devolutions Password Server, or you want to take the information and put it in a new repository, or finally, if your organization is changing data sources. So let's look at how the export works. So we're going to export a .rdm file. First, I want to export everything I see here in the navigation pane. There's two ways I can start the process, either a right click, and here I choose export, export all .rdm, or I can go file, export, export all .rdm right here, and then we're on our way. But before we go any further, I just want to show you that you can export selected folders or entries. So if I go back, I'm going to export the Boston folder as well as one credential entry. Now I'll right click, export, and choose export folder because that will do just the ones that are selected. Now we have a couple of choices. Um, the first one that says remove all groups this means it will remove all the folders from the exported file. Um, by default, RDM exports the current folder structure, even if you only select one entry um, to export. So if you check remove all groups, it will remove all the folder structures from your exported file. I'm going to keep my folder structure, but I am going to check include credentials. If I didn't check this option, then none of the usernames and passwords would be exported. It would be blank. So because I want to keep the username and passwords for my different remote connections, sessions, and credentials, I'm going to click Include Credentials. And finally, there's Encrypt with a Master Key. If I check this, I can put in a master key that the other person will need to enter to be able to save the exported file but in this case, I'm not going to do it. And I'll just click OK and save it as Boston. So now let's look at how to import information into um, RDM. In the first case, I have a new repository that I actually call New Repository. And we see that it's empty right now. So I am going to import the Boston folder that we just exported. Again, there's two ways to do it. Either right click, import, import.rdm, or file, import, import.rdm. And now I just choose my file and click open. And OK. So now we see all of the entries that um, we're about to import. These are the ones that we exported just a second ago. By default, we're going to include all of them, but if you wanted, you could deselect some at this point. Um, I'll click OK. And there we see we have the Boston folder that we saw just before and the credentials with the, uh, with the entries I chose there. So now let's look at how to import the .rdm file into my private vault in Devolution's password server. We're going to do it from the web interface. So here I have my private vault. This is on Devolution password server's web interface. I'll click the add button and choose import and then import .rdm. And here with the More button, I'll select my file. Again, we're going to use the, um, the Boston file just as an example. And here you can choose where it goes. I want it to go into the private vault. If I had used a master key before, this option would be available and I could enter it here. Click Next. And then we see here are all the entries we're about to import. We've chosen add, or it's add by default. 
There are a couple other choices. Ignore if you wanted not to include something at this point. Then click next and import. Okay, it was successful. So we put close and here they are. Now they're already in my private vault. So that's how you export a .rdm file and import it into a new repository or into your private vault in Devolution Password Server web interface. I hope this has helped you. Um, if you have any other questions, jump into our forum and our community. Um, you can always follow us on social media. We're making new videos all the time, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching.